Hello folks, I'm Dean with Dean's Woodworking. Welcome to the shop. Y'all come on in and make yourself comfortable. Today we're going to turn a lemon reamer, a citrus juicer, I'm not sure what you want to call it, but we're going to make it, okay? Y'all stay tuned and see what we do. On the lathe here I've got a piece of wood. It's just under six inches long. It's just over an inch and a half in diameter and we're going to turn this into a lemon juicer. Okay I've got us a line marked at the two inch mark. That'll give us just a little room to knock off here at the end so that we don't uh, have that hole in the tip there. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to make us some V cuts right here real quick. And we're going to go ahead and start shaping this thing. Make one more cut here. And as I make that cut, folks, I am lifting the back of that handle. So we continue to ride the bevel and we continue to uh, keep our cutting edge cutting. So we'll go with that for our shape for our reamer and then we're going to carve some uh, grooves into that as well. We'll do a couple of peeling cuts right here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and bring this on down here a little bit. I like a pretty good size handle on these, but I don't want it too big. Alright, let's go ahead and make a little cut right in there. What we're doing at this point is we're just shaping our handle. Nice thing about using a skew is you don't have a whole lot of sanding. But you do have to make that transition in the middle. That can be the spot that gets you. 
Okay, so let's come right in here. And take one more cut right there. Okay, now the only thing I believe we have left to do is we're going to do some carving on this and put some grooves in it. What I've got on the end of this tool is a little carving tool. And as I bring this in, you'll notice I can put my hand against that. I don't advise it because this is sharp, okay? It doesn't really start doing anything until I put pressure against it. We're gonna get started. And we're just gonna work this slowly. Turners might be somewhat impressed by this, I don't know, but I promise you the carvers are laughing out loud right now. Because when it comes to using this tool, let's just say there's a lot of folks who can do it a whole lot better than I can, all right? in mind though from just a little bit I know you want to you want to cut with the grain just like you would cut if you were using a turning tool Okay, you guys get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this out, and I'll be back. We'll take a look at it once I get a little bit more work done, okay? Okay, folks, I'm back. I've got this thing uh, carved and sanded. And full disclosure, I used a couple of different carving tools, this Ryobi, and then also this one that runs off the Fordham motor here. Uh, I am absolutely not a carver and don't pretend to be. If you saw the first part of that, well, you already know that, okay? One of the things is I did the carving. I'll just go ahead and show you. Did this carving, came back in with the square file and worked on it just a little bit. Came in with just a little bit of sandpaper and worked on it a little bit. Uh, I've got that. It's probably about as good as me and my uh, abilities to carve are going to get it. 
I went ahead and sanded the handle to 320. We're going to go ahead and finish this handle on this end and we're going to part it off, okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this handle back just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to hit this with just a little more sandpaper. Come in here with some 320 uh, because with that skew you don't need much, but we want it to end up looking like the rest of it. And then we're going to come in with our ultra narrow parting tool made from a steak knife. And we're just going to go ahead and part that off. And there we go. So the only thing we have to do at this point is sand this in. I'm going to grab the power sander here. And this is the way I do it, folks. It may not be the way y'all do it. You know, if you got a way that you're doing it, it works for you, great. I just take and start my power sander up and I turn the handle as I sand. And then I just kind of rotate and wobble the handle around on the end of that. And it doesn't take much so you've got a completely sanded handle. And folks, we are done. Let's take a look at this. Now obviously, like I said, I'm not the best carver in the world. You see what we've got on the handle? That's smooth. It's just, that's just the uh, pith of the limb. And again, this was made from a limb. It's pear wood. If we measure this overall, it is five and a quarter inches. It's uh, roughly about an inch and a half across here. It's got a nice little grip. No reason that won't work, folks. Now this one, because of the knots, will probably never leave my house. But uh, you know what? We've got it. And one other thing on these, I'm not going to put any finish on this. I'm just going to leave it raw wood. Uh, I see no reason to put finish on it. If you see a reason to put finish on it, please leave a message down in the comments and let me know why I should and what I should use, okay? Folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you get out and make some of these. And I sure hope your carving skills are much better than mine, okay? Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy turning.